I haven't done one of these vlogs for a while, but um, I thought I'd let you know I've come to a place called Abakan Village in North Wales, which are the people that are doing my red velvet curtains. So I'll just show you around this place. It's, it's rather cool. It's in the middle of, sort of on the way to Rill um, and Prestatyn. Um, it's an interesting place. I haven't been up to this area since probably 1988. Um, it's quite eye-opening really. I should come up here and do a video before I go, but I think time is running out for that. But yeah, I'm in um, a place called uh, Abakan, Abakan Village. It's like a little country park. It's, uh, sorry about the wobbly phone, I didn't bring the uh, 360, but it's like a little... There's a shopping area and they're, they're, it's an old mill, like an old mill or something. But there's a garden centre bit. There's Gary the gardener. I think Gary the gardener. It's a nice little cool place. Uh, house plants, bedding plants. Oh, I could get a nice little house plant for my trellis that I have in my kitchen now. Fabric wool shops, craft shops, coffee shop. Yes, coffee shop, children's playground. Although the children's playground is over there, and it's telling us it's over there. Does that look like. Does that a little bit like we? A little bit like Uring's, the Uring fountain. Nick, dedicated to the memory of Nick Abakan, 1943-2014, forever in our thoughts. I assume this is the main factory. Um, let's have a look. Okay. Yeah, crafts, hobby, quilting, fabrics. I think this is the place. Right, let's go in. So, apparently that's red velvet. That's not quite, that's not the red that was down in um, Chester branch. So that's not going to be, those are not good enough. Um, they certainly don't look like the red one. So, and then he did show me these over here. I mean, there's loads of materials here. But, that's not red, that's orange. Show me an orange one. Does it say red? That's rubbish. What a waste of time that was. I've come all the way up here because I was told in Chester that this was the place which uh, they'd stock the curtains and this is the main factory so they would be able to, the turnaround would be quicker, like two or three weeks because um, the ones in Chester send the material up to here to get them made. So I sort of cut out the middleman plus a little day trip out on bank holiday weekend um, but I get up here and they haven't got red, they haven't got red velvet. Whereas the Chester one's got the red velvet, so what was the point of that? There's like a little market going on in here as well. What a strange place. This must be what the Welsh do to entertain themselves. Well, all is not lost. I'm gonna buy the, um, I'm gonna buy the bread, maybe even the Bakewell tart. Look at all this lovely bread. Artisan bread, what have we got? Wealth well fried, slightly burned, spelt and honey, Ooh. black olive and oh, black olive and rosemary, there's a Bakewell tart, jubilee tart, what's that? Sweet pastry base covered in lashings of lemon curd, amaretto infused moist cake, top of lemon ice, we'll take that one, and then Black olive and rosemary boule. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Huh? Are these all baked locally? Yeah, probably. Uh, Nestor. Nestor. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, not with that one. Two milk. Tried to. Lovely. Right. Nice range. Thank you. Well, not much of the range left. <laughs> oh, I've come too late, have I? It was this all the way along there. Oh, this was full. <laughs> all sorts of naughty delights. Oh, no, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look nice as well. School cake. Is that, what the, is that an official title for them? School cake? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I wish our school had cake like that. You don't like that, do you? Oh. You've got a pink custard with it, though. Oh, no, no, no. Can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> that was uh, a wasted trip in terms of buying the fabric. I'm told to come here because it would save time. Let's show you what I got. Mm, spelt and honey. 
spelt and honey and I think you saw this one black olive and rosemary boule and the Bakewell tart which is in that box I'm gonna be in back in Devon for uh, six weeks five weeks five weeks back in Devon um, and then two weeks after that so eight weeks so it's I guess you could say eight weeks time the trip begins and there may be some news <laughs> I may not be going south I'll leave that cliffhanger there for you I may not be going south it all depends on um, an interview that is arose and it's further north just happens to be on one of the most beautiful canals in the system so I'm gonna go for the interview which is on Tuesday so wish me luck but yes if I get it then I won't be going south but if I don't get it I'll be going south if I get it I'll be going north so there you go it's a little teaser thanks for watching speak to you soon bye bye well I was on my way to Chester and then I saw a um, I saw something I haven't seen for a while <laughs> check this place out look at this place car pit stop there we go. Do you think he sells quality meats? Two joints and steaks. Silver side of beef, 25 quid. Quality meat. Anthony's big breakfast. Look at that. Bacon, sausage, black pudding, eggs, gammon steaks. Quality English pork. Quality Welsh beef. Quality English pork. Quality Welsh beef. Don't have quality English lamb though. They only have quality Welsh lamb. It's Anthony's quality meats. It's bulk buy. It's for people. It's not just for. It, it, it wouldn't be good. I was just going to go in there and ask for like six sausages and six rashes of bacon. But would you buy meat from Anthony Lloyd from the hut? I would. If he sold it, sold it really. Meal for one, please, as opposed to uh, Flintstone family.